Hello and welcome. I'd like to show you some of the technology preview features we've got in this new release of Mac Search 2024. So in this technology preview, we're allowing stringers to be unconstrained by NURB surfaces and they will use the full three-dimensional position of the control points to define the stringer location. Quick refresher, I'll show you how a normal stringer works. So the best practice is to just display the surface you want to uh, add the stringer to. And then in the stringers menu we've got add stringer and you can just click the points and add it like this. If we look at the stringer table uh, we've got a normal stringer listed here and at the stringer points you can see here that it's attached to a surface with a particular projection direction which is based on the window that we yeah, added the string of control points to. Because we're in the profile view, the projection onto the surface is horizontal. And you can see in the plan view, for instance, that the stringer follows the surface into which it's projected. So we can use floating stringers to add primary stiffness to a deck, for example. So this deck is located at 2.1 meters. So if I go to my um, plan view and set the drawing plane or the, to vertical 2.1, it means the st stringers that I add will be on that drawing plane if I hide the surfaces. So let me hide the surfaces. And so there's nowhere for the stringer points to project onto so they will be automatically located at the height of the current drawing plane that I just defined. So as for normal stringers, I can specify the shape. I can also specify the orientation. So here I want to put it from vertical and I want it to be below the deck so I'll put 180 degrees. And I can also duplicate that so let me duplicate that stringer at say so I'll do maybe two at one meter spacings. And there you can see I have my stringers located under the deck. Another feature we've been experimenting with is being able to lay out stiffeners on decks and frames. At the moment these are fixed so they're vertical on frames and longitudinal on decks. They're very similar to stringers except for they're always straight and you can specify the spacing or you can specify a number of positions where you want them located, not necessarily evenly. The floating stringers gives you a very flexible way of adding stiffness to a deck or a bulkhead, but sometimes we might just want a simplified way of just adding stiffness to those objects. And so we've got this option here that's been added where you can specify um, stiffness on a given deck. So the way we do this is either specify a starting point and a spacing or actually specify the uh, locations. Uh, start at 0.4 meters uh, with a spacing of 0.8 and then I can have the stiffness on the top or the bottom of the deck. And again, I need to specify the shape. You can now see I've got those stiffeners automatically added with an 800 millimeter spacing and starting from 400 millimeters either side of the center line. 
So if I want to specify locations, I can just type in the numbers. So say minus one, one, 2.5. I'll specify the locations. I, need, I want them on the bottom of the uh, deck facing down and I need to specify the shape. And then calculate it and there I've got the stiffeners at those specified locations. On a deck the stiffeners always run longitudinally with considering the option of making them run in an arbitrary direction and we can do a similar thing on a frame in which case they run vertically. So if I go my, to my frame the same sort of thing so I can say um, start at zero with a 0 0.75 meter um, spacing on the forward side of the frame. I'll select the group and the shape. And there I've got the stiffness on my on my on my frame. The stiffeners will work around any openings in the frame. For instance, if I put a horizontal slot in, the you can see the stiffeners work around the the opening. Some of the ideas we're also thinking about is having multiple sets of these. So you might have primary and secondary stiffeners and being able to allow them to be of arbitrary orientation instead of fixed vertically on frames and longitudinally on decks. Now any structural parts are automatically included as a mesh in the DGN file. So in the updated DGN export, we now export all parts using a mesh which uses the minimum amount of triangles whilst retaining all the detail. So here we are in MicroStation and you can see the imported DGN file which has a mesh for all the structural parts automatically generated. And you can see if you zoom in you get all the detail around the cutout around the stringer. One of the technology preview features we've been working on is reading the room definition in stability and automatically generating frames and decks from that information. So if I have a model in stability that's got rooms defined, you can see there's a, a, an aft and a forward extent. So these will translate into frames. And here we can see where these coincide. If they're coincident, it will just bring in one, it will just create one frame that's the biggest of all the, all the tanks and compartments that share that. And similarly with the decks, if there's a common deck, it will just bring in one deck. And um, unfortunately, because we don't yet have longitudinal bulkheads, it's not able to bring in the sides. And the other thing is that um, in stability, you can define tanks that taper from one end to the other, either on the top and bottom or the sides. So this doesn't affect the frames, but if the deck would be sloping, we can't generate those yet in um, Modeler. So if I switch over to Modeler, so I've got my model open, and you'll notice here no frames and no decks. What I need to do is go to the File, Import, and then the Rooms to Parts. And because there's already a stability file with the rooms defined, it will automatically read them from that model. A work in progress, we're aiming to be able to somehow link the two so that if you modify the tank plan, it will automatically update where the frames are located. We've also extended the automation interface in Modeler to now include the structural parts so you can add 
frames and frames with openings. You can add decks also with openings. You can also define plates and stringers. The modeler automation interface has been enhanced to be able to create structural parts. We'll load the VLCC sample and then it will add some frames with uh, rider bars and openings. You can add, add decks again with openings if desired. You can define stringers just by giving their points and the surface that the uh, point should be put on. You can add longitudinal girders. And then finally we can add plates. So we can run that. You can see the model has been loaded. You can see the frames being added and the decks. If we turn off the plate meshes, you can see the various parts that have all been added automatically using the uh, the com interface.